Okay, I just did a video, um, a time-lapse video to speed up the process drawing this vessel. And just to reiterate, um, I measured my hyper's width. I noticed that the, the ellipse at the bottom was smaller than the ellipse at the top. Um, so I put my ellipses in, connected my two widest points of the ellipse, done. That's how fast an object like that is. The tricky part is the handle. This hand, the handle that comes out towards me is going to be a little different from you. Um, so I'm at a slightly different perspective than you, but you'll get the idea. So from my point of view, if I were to draw, put my pencil on this like this, this that's the cent, that's the central axis line that the handle is on. I need to establish that in order to get the diagonal of that handle. And then I'm going to drop this part of the ellipse and I'll pull it down. So I'll explain what I'm talking about. But I'm going to have to turn it just a hair towards me so I can get the angle that you had, which is kind of like this. So I can actually keep that pencil there if I want and then cite it with another pencil. Um, And what I did was I took my pencil, brought it up here, put it through the center, and then I followed my pencil line and saw it, it intersected, my pencil intersected this line here. I memorized it and I went over and I marked it. Now I get my ruler and I connect a line through the center. Like so. That is the axis line of this pencil that I just used. I'm going to switch my pencil back. Um, that line represents the center of this. So I'm, I'm going to build out, build out from the center. Um, so basically, because this is wider, so that line I just made is basically the center of this handle. So the handle's wider, so that's why. I'm... Oh, another thing. You may have saw that this in the video I just made, but um, I've been using these little straight uh, mark, uh, lines just to mark distances and compare it to the other side, which is kind of nice. Another thing I've done here too, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look down here, instead of trying to guesstimate the center, I don't know why I wasn't doing this before, all I did was cross my corners and I found my center. I didn't draw the entire line, I just drew the little where I knew they would intersect in the center, and then I could draw my vertical. I could draw my horizontal line. It was really fast. Um, what am I doing? Okay. So, before I go any further, if you look at, see this where it intersects the ellipse right here? So the ellipse is kind of like right here. Where there's two lines that intersect. I'm going to drop a line straight down, actually on a bit of a diagonal because everything kind of comes down a little bit. Um, because it's not straight, because this isn't straight. It's a bit of a diagonal. So I'm just gonna angle it just a hair, just a hair. Draw a line. This curvilinear thing lives on here somewhere. It comes out of here and it comes back here. So I just wanna make sure that's, that line is a guide for, for, for me. How far does it go down from the lip? This is the, um, the edge of the cup. It, it goes down, I could just say like maybe right here. You can just evaluate that visual assessment, like right here. And we can measure, but it's so small that it's not a big deal. Now, this is the trick. You're going to, if you look at my ruler now, I'm on where it intersects that line. I'm right on, I'm on a diagonal right now. Um, I'm following the diagonal of the ellipse at that point. So it's important you draw your ellipse well, otherwise you're gonna get a wrong angle. So the ellipse is about right there and I'm averaging, if that was a straight line that went through there, what would it look like? And I'm trying to kind of make it parallel to the angle of the ellipse at that moment where it's intersecting that line. And it appears to look like this. So I'm gonna pull that down. And I'm gonna make a line parallel to it. As you can see, um, now I can just start to build this plane as it goes out and it goes in this direction. here. And what I'm going to do is 
So this is the center line. I'm gonna go out from center this much. I'm gonna go out from center this much. And that, again, is me guessing. I think, to be honest, I can probably go out a little bit more. It looks like it's about, I, I compared the width of this to that, and it looked like it was about that wide. So if I do this down here, yeah, I can go out much more. So I'm gonna go out to here and go out to here. That feels kind of wide though. <laughs> Maybe a little less. You can always shrink it up later, it's not a big deal, but right now I'm just kind of trying to, how about this one? And this one. I'll go with those two lines, that feels better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is following the same diagonal line, I'm gonna go this way. So I'm making this parallel to that line here. Yes, it should converge as it goes away from you in space. And if you want to angle it towards it, just a hair, you can do that. But in this case, it's so close to it. It's not major. You can get away with it. Uh, so after I put this in, I'm still thinking that, that maybe I should have went with the other width. Um, but I'm, I'm going to carry on because if I measure this, eh, it should be fine. Now I'm trying to figure out how far this is away from the cup. And I just blocked you from it, but how far this is away from the cup coming towards me. And it is actually, I can angle you. Eh, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to guess, first of all, I'm just going to measure how far the handle comes out from the cup and I'll compare it to the width of the ellipse, the farthest part. I'd say it was about this big. So right there, as I'm taking that distance, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna mark it with another pencil. Right here, drop a line down from that point. So see this line here? And then once I, basically drawing a, a shape like that, which is the handle, the handle lives inside side of this thing. Right? And then how does the handle connect to the form? It's all there, all the information is there. You've done the hard work. It's, it's not that hard to put this on. Okay, so there's a line right here. I'm drawing this one in. And again, I'm using intuitive perspective here because this is pretty far. This is pretty far from that. So I want to make sure that this converged towards it. So I angled it towards that line. Um, now I want to see how far up, see where this meets the bottom here. How far up do you think it is from the bottom? I'm, I'm going to guess and say, oh, this line looks pretty good to me. I'm going to say it's right. It's the, see the center access line. It looks like it's right there. So I'm just gonna use that line as my um, point. And again, this is intuitive perspective as well. I'm putting this line in here, but it would converge eventually all the way out here with this line because it is far away. The two lines up here, you can make parallel because it's so close to it, it's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna put this down here. So I take this down here, go here, I do this, converge it. All right, I'm going to erase a little bit. Uh, 
The other thing I forgot to do is drop a line down here. And remember, it's not a vertical line. This one's going to be kind of following the contour. Something like that. And it meets back here, right here. So you can kind of see I've made this this um, rectangle come off the side of the cup at the same viewpoint as I'm looking down because I'm using the central access line as a building point. And then from there, I'm just making visual assessments where the cup comes back in, where the cup uh, goes or comes off of, of the form from the lip where it comes back in. That was not that hard. I just kind of can look at it and make those assessments. Now I'm going to start, this is basically a round. A lot of you just go in and be like, ah, here's the cup and I'm just going to throw this in. Does that look right? No, it looks flat. It looks off. You have to go through this process in order to um, get it to be accurate. It's a very difficult thing. It's this organic shape on this um, symmetrical form. It's not easy to put on, but if you follow the line of the ellipse, follow the central access line, it's really not that hard. Um, so I'm going to also erase the transparency line here. Make this a little darker. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to start to cut straight line construction where I think this thing um, curves. So it starts to kind of it goes down here. I might even just like do a quick sketch, like a curve on your sketch, just to kind of get a sense. It goes here. It's basically doing that shape, right? So yeah, I I could just throw this in on the other side and then there you go, I have it, right? And then I just make it thick. But before you do that, it is just nice to, on top of these sketch lines, I'm gonna throw in straight lines. And this is what I mean by straight line construction. Sometimes you have to sketch it out to get the sense of the, does it look right? Does, is, is it there? Because you put the straight lines in and you're a bit off and you're going to use that as a guide. Why? Um, straight line here and a straight line here. The reason why you put those straight lines in because you can put them on the other side at the exact same point and then you can put that curve in. So you would run it over to the other side. Run this to the other side. Run this to the other side. And I'm going to be really fast because the little man's waking up. And then you curve this. And you come back in. Run this to the other side. And then you curve this in. So you have this here. And then the next thing you do is you just give it some thickness, some, some depth. And then, so how do I do that? I just follow that contour. But before I follow the contour, I'm just going to put this contour back in and make it nice and clean. And then you follow the contour. And then you have that thickness there. Now you might say, huh, that handle looks way too long compared to that handle. Something's not right. If that's the case, then you probably measured this part wrong, which I'm looking at it now. Maybe it's just a little too, um, it's way too long. So then I would have to adjust this over to the left and make that adjustment. But that's part of drawing. You do all this work, you're like, God darn it. <laughs> but all the other stuff is right. So then I would just pull this over to the left, about right here. And then I would Pull it down, pull this up, 
and that might be a little bit more accurate of a handle in terms of length. But you can kind of see how I went through it. You really have to go through that whole process and then you can put the rounds in. You have to draw, draw straight line construction, intuitive perspective, make a rectangle because everything's derived from a rectangle or can be derived from a rectangle and then put it in. So one last thing and I'll stop the video. I would erase this. I'm going to erase my little curves and then I would start the process again. I think I might leave this line in because that seems about right. But the process of drawing, like it is, it's taking off, it's putting on, it's taking off, it's putting on. They have to do that over and over and over again. This to me seems a little bit more accurate. I think I went a little too much. I'm feeling the pressure maybe waking up um, and I'm gonna have to go uh, attend to that. But the nice thing about this is, is you just take this to the other side. And basically comes back in. This actually this feels a lot be better in terms of the um, curve and the distance off of the mug. So I just went a little too long. I shortened it up. I'm happy with, with that. And then after this, then I would, yes, I, I would make that um, that dimension here because you can see if I angle the cup this way, you can kind of see that turn uh, and it's there. And then you follow back down. And if you do it appropriately to the other side and just as you run everything across the other side and you draw it in, it's going to match up because you because this little lip here might pop out on the on the interior. So again, rectangles, and then once it hits the form, it just follows the same line here. Meaning the same line here, so it just like kind of comes off and then it comes back on in the same diagonal of that ellipse.